You're going to meet a man who has a devoted following around the world, and you'll find him astonishingly pragmatic on a range of very modern-day problems. Let's meet Sakura. In your life, if you think the work that you're doing is important, first thing is, you must work upon yourself. The experience of life, whatever happens. This is the curious thing because what is the true definition of yoga? What do you this do for that children? How to overcome this fear? 70% of the ailments that human beings are suffering are self-created. Navaratri is coming now. That means Navaratri literally means nine nights. Why this Navaratri is? Every month, after the Nomon day or the new moon day as it's called here or the Amavasya after that days are counted ninth day is called Navami that means nine ninth day it is. these nine days are considered feminine out of the 28 days one and a half days are nearly 30 to 36 hours is a neutral time when the full moon is on. So 27 days are the days which are calculated in a certain way. 27 days or 27 is significant with reference to the solar cycle also. So one third of it is called the feminine part of the month, the nine days. So when it, the feminine is on, the Devi's thing is on, so that is why in the tradition, up to now I mean, all the worship is for the Devi. After that, things will change. Particularly in uh, the tradition that comes from Kashmir, which is a, a very strong feminine worshipping culture. I'm talking today, if we say Kashmir, you think of terror, you think of uh, militancy, you think of Islam, you think of extreme manifestations of many things, but this is all about, started about seven centuries ago. Before that, and even after that, for quite some time, Kashmir was a very strong Devi process, and very feminine-oriented practices, very powerful things were done. There are every Naomi, that is every nine days in this 12 month that is going on, they are dedicated to different Devi. The one that comes now, which is called the Dashera, the or the Navaratri as it's largely celebrated, this is dedicated to Devi Sharada. This was considered most important because Sharada is the goddess of learning. This tradition held learning as the most important that a human being can do. He can fight, he can win, he can conquer, he can run. But the most important thing that a human being can do is they can learn. That is the significant aspect of who we are. Other creatures can run faster than us, they are stronger than us, they can do many, many things that we cannot do, but they can't learn like us. So this Navaratri, which is coming now, end of September, Oh no, beginning of October, I think. He is dedicated to Sharada Devi, the goddess of learning, because this is unique to us. This is the pride of being human, that you can learn just about anything. If you're willing, you can learn. Even if they are willing, the other creatures cannot learn. So this is the most significant Navaratri dedicated to Sharada. And uh, you must prepare, learn something.